Satan really calls Jesus Christ. Uh, we are the 12 tribes of Israel rising up across the four corners of the earth. But primarily within this place, uh, the devil that the Bible speaks of, but primarily within this place that you call America, that is known as the virgin daughter Babylon. You see, a lot of people get, uh, Lamentations 4 and 17. A lot of people praise this land. A lot of people say, you're lucky to be in America. You know, when you have to realize that America was built off the slavery of the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. America still runs off the slavery of the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Whether you like it, believe it or not, we are still mass incarcerated. We are still gunned down in the streets. We are the people who suffer the curses written within the book that you call the Holy Bible. That's right. We are the people that is rising up once again across the four corners of the earth. We are that great and exceeding army. We are the people that when you hear the revolution will not be televised, that's why they don't put us on TV screens. Because if they do, they're going to realize that they are only spreading the truth. Because you cannot stop this truth. Am I your enemy that I tell you the truth? Read. Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 17. As for us, our eyes as yet fail for our vain help. You see, as for us, our eyes have failed for our vain help. You see, we search for help all throughout the earth, not realizing that the only help you need is written within this very book. The book that comes from our ancestors, the ancestors of the people that were bought via slave ships from the west coast of Africa, the ancestors of the native Indians from north, central, south America, and the Caribbean islands. We are the people of the book. A wise man once said, the only thing right about this book is the pages. Keep reading. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. See, we watch for a nation that could not save us. And that nation is America. That right. sinful nation that will be wiped off the earth by nuclear thermal destruction, which is biblical prophecy. You, know? you see, get uh, Colossians 2 and 8. You see, a lot of our people, we, we embrace this American dream. But in order to dream, you have to be asleep. You see, America has rocked our people to sleep. Matter of fact, get uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. And you might look at us up here like if we're crazy. You might look at us up here like we're just a bunch of angry spicks and niggas. A bunch of angry black men, a bunch of angry Hispanic men, a bunch of angry Native Americans. But what you have to realize is that oppression maketh the wise men mad. Right. Yeah, read that. This is Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 7. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. See, oppression makes a wise man crazy. That's right. And we are oppressed. We are mass incarcerated. We have drugs being infiltrated all throughout our ghettos. We are gunned down in the streets by our so-called police officers. When they're not protecting and serving us, they're protecting and serving this demonic governmental system. Right. And all we've done is embrace these false religious ideologies. All we've done is embrace all of these vain philosophies. All of this indoctrination that have been placed and seated within our minds since we were children. Think about it. Statistics say over 90%, I repeat, 90% of the college students in the United States of America are failing their classes. 85% of every single high school student in America is failing their classes. Why? Because they're doing it over a computer screen. And this is our future? These are our future leaders? I think not. Hey brother, you got two seconds? You got two seconds? What's your nationality? Black. You black? Where's that sign at? Right here. Where you see yourself on this sign?
You don't see yourself? Would you call, if you're filling out a job application, would you put African American, a so-called Negro or Black? There's no human being. There's no human being on, on, on a job application. Yeah, yeah, you got it? So you think everybody's created equally? No? So why would you put human being? There's no human being on a job application. What's your nationality? You're black. Where is black on, on the map? It's nowhere, right? So that's not your nationality. How can you claim something? All right, you got you got a Chinese man as a human being, an Arab man as a human being. That's what he should put too. So that means we're all created equal. That's what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Do you think that's in the Bible? Probably not. Probably not. Let's read. Read. This is the book of Esdras, chapter second Esdras, chapter six, verse fifty-three. Upon the sixth day, thou gavest commandment unto the earth that before thee it should bring forth beasts, cattle, and creeping things. Verse 54, and after these Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. So everybody comes from Adam, right? Everybody, right? That's obvious, right? Get Isaiah 40 and 17 and hold that, read. Of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. So out of Adam, the Lord chose a specific group of people. Okay? Read. Verse 55. Uh -huh. All this have I spoken before thee, uh -huh. O Yahweh, because thou madest the world for our sakes. So the Lord made the world for that chosen people's sakes. All right? Read. Verse 56. Uh -huh. As for the other people, as for the other people, the people that the Lord did not choose. Okay? Read. As for the other people, which also come from Adam, they all come from Adam, right? Because we all come from Adam, okay? So as for the other people that also come from Adam, read. Thou hast said that they are nothing. The Lord said they are nothing. They are nothing. Read. That they are nothing. Uh -huh. but be like unto spittle. They be like unto spittle, unto spit. Go ahead, read. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. And liketh the abundance of them like a drop that falleth from a vessel. That's like you carrying a bucket of water, right? You know that little drop that falls? Are you going to go crazy for a little drop of water that falls on the floor with a bucket full of water? No, right? You're going to take care of that bucket full of water. The Lord is comparing the other nations to who? That drop that falls from the vessel. And these are the people who have been chosen being the 12 tribes of Israel. The, word, the, the person that the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, right? You know, he, he only came for these people. He only came for these people, brother. Only for the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. He came to redeem the children of Israel. You got Luke, get Luke 1 and 68. Read, read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 17. All nations before him. All nations before the Lord, go ahead. Are as nothing. Are as what? Are as nothing. They are as nothing, brother. Okay? So all the other nations, the white man, the Arab man, the Chinese man, they are as nothing to the Lord. Okay? See, what, what people have to realize is that the God of the Bible, Yahweh, okay, which is true name, not Jehovah, not Yahweh, not God, Yahweh, okay? The God of the Bible is the God of a nation. Okay, and we're going to read that. Read. This is the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. The Lord God of who? The Lord God of Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, of the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He's our God. And when he comes back, he, he is coming back so we can come back in rulership. That's right. So we can once again rule this earth in righteousness underneath the King of Kings who the world calls Jesus Christ. Get Matthew 15, 24. We're going to read red letter and we're going to show you who Christ said he came for. Okay? Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, So the Lord, Jesus Christ, Hamashiach Yahweh in the ancient Hebrew, Let's see what he said. I am not sent 
He is not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Unto who? The lost sheep of the house of Israel. He is not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And that's this right here. Right. Get up, uh, Matthew 25, and I believe it starts at 30. I'm going to show you what Christ is going to do when he comes back. Let me see. Thirty-one. Read. Book of Matthew, chapter twenty-five, verse thirty-one. When the Son of Man shall come in His glory. So when the Son of Man comes in His glory, right? Jesus Christ, when He comes, raining down from the clouds, right? And those clouds will be what? UFOs. You see this sign right here, brother? You see this sign right here? These are the chariots of the Most High God. Right. All right. Which is UFO? That's in the Bible, brother. UFOs. Why do you think Trump sanctioned what? A space force. Right? Even the first Bush from the 80s, what did he say? He said, we have to prepare for an outside invasion. That's right. You want to know why? Because he knows, and they know, the powers that be, that they're going to try to fight against Christ. They're going to try to fight against these UFOs, God's chariots. Bring it up. not going to work. Their arms are too short to box with God. You understand? Read it again from the top. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, uh -huh. and all the holy angels with him. And all the holy angels with him, right? The Alahayim, which is the root word for alien. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, read. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, uh -huh. and behold, uh, Salah, and before him shall be gathered all nations. And every nation is going to be gathered before who the world calls Jesus Christ. You understand? But let's see what he's going to do. Because most people think that... Hey, brother, hey, stop being the word. Stop being the word. All right, brother. So most people think that when Jesus Christ comes back, right, that he's just going to hold everybody's hands. He's just going to be picking lilies, right? And he's just going to be skipping through the field, right? That's what most people think. Most people think that's what's going to happen. You understand, brother? But what he's going to do is he's going to separate us. America's an abomination for many reasons. But you know what's one of the reasons? All nations are right here together. The Lord doesn't want it that way. The Lord wants us separate. Get that in uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 8, I believe. Yeah, read. And before him shall be gathered all nations. Uh -huh. And he shall separate them. And he shall what? Separate them. No, the Lord's going to bring us together. Separate them. No, everybody's supposed to live together. Separate them. The Lord's going to separate us. You understand? Keep reading. One from another. One from another. Go ahead. As a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. As a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. That's what the Lord's going to do. He's going to separate us. And the Most High God, Yahweh, has ordained this since the beginning. And you're going to hear it. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 8. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, the Most High divided the nations their inheritance. Divided. Let's see. Read. When he separated the sons of Adam, the Lord separated the sons of Adam. Go ahead. He set the bounds of the people. Of, he set the bounds of the people according to what? According to the number of the children of Israel. According to the number of the children of Israel. So everything revolves around us. You understand? If you see the Christian church and the Catholic church to tell you that the that the new covenant is for everybody, right? That's what they tell you, right? Jeremiah 31, 31, Hebrews 8 and 8. I'm going to show you something, brother. I'm going to show you something. Because the new covenant is for one group of people. You understand? One group of people. Hold Hebrews 8 and 8 and also get uh, Romans 9. Read. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, verse 31. Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that I will make a new covenant. The new covenant, right? That everybody talks about with Jesus Christ, right? Read. With the house of Israel. With who? With the house of Israel. And with the house of Judah. With the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Being the northern and southern kingdom. Being the 12 tribes of Israel. 
Now, a lot of people will say, well, that's in the Old Testament, right? That's the Old Testament. Well, let's read it again in the New. Okay? Read. Now, uh, Hebrews 8 and 8, or whole Romans. Hebrews chapter 8, verse 8. For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant. The Lord is going to make a new covenant, right? Same thing it's saying in the Old Testament, go ahead. With the house of Israel. With the house of Israel, go ahead. With the house of Judah. And with the house of Judah. There's no way to get around that. The Bible says this. Okay? Now go to Romans 9. Start at verse 1. Go ahead, read. Romans chapter 9, verse 1. I say the truth in Christ. You see, we say the truth in Christ. You understand? Keep reading. I lie not. I lie not. My conscience also bears me witness with the Holy Spirit. That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. Verse 3. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. According to the what? According to the flesh. So now you know the Apostle Paul is talking about his kinsmen. You good. According to the flesh. You understand? Keep reading. Who are Israelites? Who are who? Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? You understand? Once again, look at that sign. These are God's chosen people. You understand? Keep reading. To whom pertained the adoption? Who pertained the adoption? And the glory. And the glory. And the covenant. And the what? And the covenant. And the covenants. With an S. Go ahead. And the giving of the law. And the giving of the law. Go ahead. And the service of God. And the service of God. Go ahead. And the promises. And the promises. What's, what's one of the biggest promises that the Christian church talks about? The kingdom of heaven. So who's that promise for? The twelve tribes of Israel. You understand, brother? So when somebody asks you again, who are you? What you going to say? You're an Israelite, right? Exactly. You're an Israelite, brother. You're not black. You're not African American. You're none of these bywords of Proverbs. Which was a curse that the Lord said was going to be placed upon us. You understand? So you have to come back to the one true God who is Yahweh. And the mediator to get to him will be Yahweh Shah. You see, another lie the Christian church teaches is they teach Jesus Christ as God, right? Do you believe that? You don't believe that? All right. Get Colossians 1 and I believe start at 14. Jesus Christ is not God. Jesus Christ is not God. Come talk to me. Come talk to me. Jesus Christ is not God. Jesus Christ is not God. Get that in John 1 and 1. Get that in John 1 and 1. Get that in John 1 and 1. Now let's go to Colossians, right? And we're going to show you, okay? Read. So Colossians 1 and 14. Yeah, read. Colossians chapter 1, verse 14. And who we have redemption through his blood. And who we have redemption through his blood, right? This, obviously, the context is talking about who? We have redemption through Jesus Christ's blood, right? Now, before we get into this, let me ask you a question. Does the Most High God have a beginning? Does he have a beginning? Come talk to us. You can talk to us. We're not arguing. We're, we're out here to edify. We're not here to argue. We're not here to argue. We're not here to argue. We're here to edify and teach our people. You've known us for a long time, sister. And we've never argued. We've always just talked about the scriptures. I didn't argue with you, sister. Just because I have a mic doesn't mean I'm arguing with you. I'm not arguing with you. We're out here to talk to our people. That's all. Right now you're lying because we know it So let's hear. Let's hear the Bible then if we're lying. Are you ready to hear the Bible, sister? Honey, you don't have to go I'm a minister. I'm a reverend. What is that? A woman is... A, I'm a reverend. The Lord suffered not a woman to teach. I'm a pastor. The Lord suffered not a woman to teach. The Lord suffered not a woman to teach. So you're not even supposed to be doing that. You think because you have a piece of paper. You think because you have a piece of paper. You think because you have a piece of paper. Yeah, hey, get that out. God call me. God call me. All right, sister, let's talk. Let's build. Let's build. Let's build. All right, sis? 
free. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 50, verse 16. But unto the wicked, God said, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? You see, a lot of people say, well, I'm a minister, I'm a pastor, but what do you have to do with the Lord if you're not even teaching the true word of God? You're sitting here saying that his only begotten son is God, when that's not biblical. It's not biblical. That's not biblical. Are you ready to hear the word now? Thank you for the challenge. Colossians chapter 1, verse 14. In whom we have redemption through his blood. Huh? even the forgiveness of sins. Uh -huh. Who is the image of the invisible God? Who is the image of the invisible God? Keep reading. What the born? firstborn. The what? The firstborn. The what? The firstborn. The firstborn. So how can Christ be the most high God? Do you understand? How can Christ be the most high God? Is the way, the truth, and the life. Absolutely, I agree. To the Father. He's the mediator. Exactly. But that doesn't mean, is he the Father? How, how can you get to the Father being the Father? So you have to go through the Father to get to the, you're not making any sense. Okay, but how can the Most High God be the Father? Can I give an example? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You know, they still water, right? Yeah, uh-huh. water takes two Yes. Now, if it's liquid, uh-huh. It doesn't stop being water, it's H2O. Right? I'm listening, I'm listening, sister, I'm listening. Uh huh. If it's ice, you are solid, solid ice, right? It's still H2O, right? Yes. If it's vapor or gas, it's still H2O. Okay. Okay. So that doesn't, God is not changing. There's three forms in one. No. Yes. That's not biblical. Yes. Because God sent his son because he's invisible. He keeps holy. He cuts up. We're sinners. We're sinners. So he sent his son, an extension of himself. But your mind is lost. I agree. But there's one issue. You're saying one plus one plus one equals one. That doesn't make any sense. How did, did Christ? Let me let me ask let me ask you a question, right? Did Christ pray to the Father? Did Christ pray to the Father? But you just told that told me I was the Father. The Father is invisible. You said yourself. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. But that doesn't mean that Jesus Christ is the most high. No. You're contradicting yourself. Uh, I'll let you talk, and we're going to let the Bible read, okay? Look, go ahead, go ahead. We're talking. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh huh. The father, like the owner of the business, uh -huh. is the father. Okay? But the father, when well, you owner the business, puts the CEO of an executive or CEO officer in charge, right? So no one has the owner. The CEO is the owner. Okay, so real quick, let's go by that. Let's go by that philosophy, right? Does that mean? Does that mean the CEO is the owner? Thank you. You just proved my point. Read. We're going to let the Bible talk. Let's let the Bible talk. Sister, we listen to you. Without, you're right. I agree. I agree. I agree. Order, 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 order. We're talking to the sister, then we can deal with your point, okay? Let's talk to the sister. No, no, it's order. We got to deal with order here. We got to deal with order here. We're talking to the sister, then you can say something, okay? Now, you ready, sir? You ready to hear the Bible? All right, cool. Because this is this is the only, remember, call every man a liar, but God is true, right? So that what, what we do up here, and you should notice, we deal with the word, okay? All right, read. This is the book of John, chapter 5, verse 26. For as the Father hath life in himself, uh -huh. So had he given to the Son to have life in himself. So how are they the same if the Lord is making a distinction of difference here? They're not the same. Now we're going to show you in the Old Testament, King James Version. What's the title? John chapter 5, verse 27. 
Like, you ready to hear this, sis? You're, we're gonna, you're gonna see a distinction between the Most High God and He's going to give authority to Christ in Daniel 7. Okay? Because we're not speaking, we're not speaking against Jesus Christ. We know Jesus Christ is our mediator. We know he's our savior. We know he's our Messiah. And we know the only way we can actually rule in the kingdom of heaven is to be covered in his blood. We know these things. But there's a distinction between the most high God and Christ. They're two separate beings. You understand? All right, read. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 9. I beheld the thrones, I beheld till the thrones were cast down. And the ancient of days, the ancient of days, who's the ancient of days, sister? Sister, who's the ancient of days? That'll be the most high God, right? Because the ancient of days is literally meaning he has no beginning or end. He has no beginning. He's outside the realm of time. No, what we're reading right now? John 5 and 26. Yes, I am. Look. All right. You ready? Read. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit, whose garment was white as snow. And the hair of his head like the pure wool. Okay. His throne was like the fiery flame and his wheels as burning fire. Uh -huh. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Uh -huh. Thousands, thousands ministered unto him and ten thousands, thousands ministered unto him. Okay. It has to Let's go up to, uh, now drop to, yeah. That's what we follow the law. 13. All right, you ready, sis? Come in, sis. Came the law for us. Come in, sis. Come in. It's always been the law. You ready? Now, there's a distinction in Daniel 7, right? When the Ancient of Days. Now you're going to see the Ancient of Days give dominion onto Christ. Okay? Read. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 13. I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven. And came to the ancient of days. So, are you, are you hearing this? Sis? One like on the Son of Man came to the ancient of days. How can you come to yourself? You can't come to yourself. One plus one plus one does not equal three. I mean, it does not equal one, sister. It equals three. Do you understand? Now, we're going to finish. Now, read it again from the top. Read it again from the top. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 13. I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man. Sister, sister, if you're going to talk to us, talk to us. It's not sister, it's Reverend Evelyn Vargas. Sister Evelyn Vargas. So, All right. Reverend Evelyn Vargas. I'm okay. Here. I stop. I'm Get that stuff out of one of the two. Sister, are you listening? Teachings. Sister, can you argue with what we're bringing out right now? I'm not doing we, I'm not, I'm, all I'm doing is reading the Bible. All I'm doing is reading the Bible. That's it. And you're going against what, what the Bible says. So who's the false teacher? You're up here saying you have a certificate to be a reverend and a pastor. You're up here saying all these things. And all we're doing is trying to read the Bible. What's wrong with that? But then you're saying we're wrong when all we're doing is reading the Bible and I want you to exegete the scriptures written in the book. But you can't do that. You can't do these things. Read. First Timothy chapter 2 verse 11. Uh -huh. Let the woman learn in silence. Let the woman what? Learn in silence uh -huh. with all subjection. Okay. Verse 12. But I suffer not a woman to teach. So how can you be a reverend? How can you be a pastor? If the Lord says he suffers not a woman to teach right. in the congregation of the church. Right. You cannot leave men being a woman. And this is not to be condescending. This is not to be disrespectful. But the Lord comes in order. And right. the order of, of the church is what? Once again, since we're both teachers, we're going to let the Bible speak. Read. Yep, 1 Corinthians 11. 
Greek. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter eleven, verse one. Uh huh. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. Okay. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinances. Keep the what? Keep the ordinances. Keep the ordinances, meaning keep the order. The Lord has set things in order. So let's read this order. Go ahead. As I delivered them to you. Uh -huh. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of every man is Christ. Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is what? The head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is the man. But let's see. If Christ is God, why would Christ have a head? Read it again from the top. Frickets. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of every man is Christ. Go ahead. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is the most high God. Oh. Hey, brother, come hear the word, man. Come hear the word of God. You got to go to work? I understand. We all got slavery. So, you can't argue against the Bible. You can tell us up and down we're false teachers, we're false prophets, but all we're doing is reading the Bible. I haven't heard you bring up one Bible verse. Give me one Bible verse. Give me one book, one chapter, and one verse to validate your claim that Jesus Christ is God. People are called. We're called. Get that, get that, we are called, many are called, what's that, John, John 14, 16? She has no idea what she's saying. She has no idea what she's saying. No idea, sister. No idea. It says study to show yourself approved. Yes. Don't come out here and talk to an apostle, a Muslim apostle taught you. Don't come out here and talk lies and confuse the How are we talking lies if we're reading the Bible? How are we talking Bible. lies and we're reading the if we're reading the Bible? Yeah, How? You don't even know. How are we talking you lies if all we're doing is reading the Bible? Respecting a minister. If You're you a know minister? the word, God tells you to respect ministers. The Lord just said he suffers not a woman to teach. These are what Jesus and get God with God's. What are you talking about? What does that have to do with anything? He's talking about taxes. He's talking about taxes. We all pay taxes up here. No, what are you talking about? I'm not talking about taxes. Sister, I'm talking sister, why don't you sit here and listen to the word of God then? This, this place is, this, this is why this place has to be destroyed. You got it, brother? That's why I preached about, that's why I preached about the plagues and the plagues came forth, right? Because oh I'm a God. false prophet. I'm a truth of prophet. I preached on Market Street okay. about Moses and the plagues. And guess what? Uh -huh. They're here. Oh, oh my God. So the plagues are here because you uh, you no, prophesied no, them. No. The plagues no. are here because you prophesied them? No. So explain when the Bible what says I'm he saying, suffers not a woman to teach. Explain when the Bible says he suffers not a woman to teach. Uh huh. Whatever comes out of their mouth uh -huh. comes true. You know what I'm saying. Don't twist it. Don't, Don't twist, twist what? It. So how can you twist that the Lord suffers not a woman to teach? How? Read. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 22, verse 14. For many are called, but few are chosen. Many are called, but few are chosen. That's why I'm here. So God is only love. Get Psalm 5 and 5. Is God only love? Listen, you know is God, God only love? love? God is love. God is and only he love? Loves, no, and he's consuming fire too. So he's only love? No. Does Don't God hate? Don't try it. Don't Does try God it. Hate? You are not a minister because you still have witchcraft inside hate? of you. Witchcraft? Yes, the Wiccan culture. Sister, you still I'm have that you, man. inside I'm going to pray for you, sister. You are the I'm kind pray of person you, sister. who does preaching uh -huh. and witchcraft wherever you go. You got, you got, uh, uh, he got, he got Psalm 5 5. Get Roman. Come, you got, you got Psalm 5 But you are a real minister. You are delivered. I'm a deliverance minister. Yeah, read. It's the book of Psalms. The, the, uh -huh. the foolish shall not stand in thy sight. The foolish are not going to stand in the sight of the Most High God. 
And it's a foolish thing for you to stand up here and say we're not preaching the Bible when all we're doing is reading Bible verses. That's all we're doing. We're reading Bible verses. And it's to the point I brought up Bible verses and told you to explain them and then you sat there and said we're false teachers. You're not making any sense. Does, does, does God hate sin or sinners? Does God hate sin or sinners? Let's see. Read again from the top. Psalm chapter 5 verse 5. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Foolish are not going to stand in the sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. The Lord hates all iniquity. workers iniquity. of iniquity. iniquity. That means the Lord hates sinners. Even the Pharisees went after Jesus. The religious Get that in leaders. Acts that many Pharisees believed? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, what, was Paul a Pharisee? They tried to question was Paul a Pharisee? You know what they did to Jesus? They tried to question him and make him look stupid and push uh -huh. him to the edge like uh -huh. you're doing. I'm not you're a worker so, of a network. So you're saying I'm a Pharisee and you're, and you're a, and you're a, and you're a of Christ. That's what you're saying? You're a worker. Acts 15 and 5. Go back to Massachusetts Read. where you're a pastor. This is the book of Proverbs. You don't belong chapter 16, here. verse 4. Okay. The Lord hath made all things for himself. Okay. Yeah, yeah. even the wicked day. for the day of evil. You see, the Lord even made the wicked for the day of evil. You understand? Give me a Bible verse. All you're doing is talking. Honey, I even pray for you. I pray for all of you all day. You don't know how I Well, pray the Lord can say pray for your enemies, right? That's right. And, and we're, I pray that and, you and, are and, delivered. And we're in opposition. That, that, so that, honestly, you are my enemies, when you meet God but I love you. Me. I have Read. gifts too. I have gifts too. God already told me you're going to meet my husband. Rose up certain of the and when you meet the my Pharisees. husband, the apostles, and rose up certain, he's gonna, he's that rose up mind. certain of the sect of the Pharisees, the angels, which God believe, sent me as an which angel what? in which this believe, city. Which what? They do believe so Pharisees culture. believe yeah, in Christ. So what are you talking culture. about? The Lord said, study like the Pharisees, but don't do as them. So what are you talking I'm about? I'm not accusing anybody. You're not. She's not accusing anybody. I'm just saying that you're teaching the wrong, erroneous word. Acts 24 and 13. Well, you got, you got a, a, a poor tongue. There's witchcraft in your communication. You see that feeling? You like to go after angels. Uh -huh. You all have a curse Get to go Galatians after 4, angels. 16. We find that and You're I an angel. Witchcraft over you. All right, Jesus sis. Name. Okay, sister, you have any questions? All right. Okay. You believe in the Bible? What's your nationality, sister? Puerto Rican. I know you like to make things happen in witchcraft because it happened to me with that guy that you you had them. You see this sign right here? Guy on the bus. So, that since you're Puerto Rican, hey, I'm building with this sister, and you're just because causing you're know, causing confusion. I knew what you you're did. causing confusion. No, you are. I, 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 you're dismissed. You're dismissed. I'm you're building with this sister. You're not my husband. All right, so you're you not see, my husband. you see, the Puerto Ricans would be the tribe of Ephraim according to the Bible. Did you know that? We're living in those times. See, well, we're out here teaching, despite despite uh these Listen, demons that go slaves. to and fro on the earth. They believe we well, are slaves. What? They have a Muslim teaching. We're not Muslims. Muslims. We don't believe in the Quran. We don't believe in Allah. We have the Bible in our hand. Look how the devil causes confusion. Look how the devil, get that. When, when, when you come to see and sow the word, the devil takes the seed out. You know what I want? Yeah. Yeah, Galatians 4 and 16, go ahead. Oh, you're trying to get that. Galatians 4. Anybody have questions here? No, the seed, the sower, the Okay. Galatians 4 and 16, read. Oh. Yeah, now, why? If, if we're such false teachers, why don't you just walk down the block? Why don't you just leave? Oh, Read. To defend the word of God, this like is the Paul. book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 16. I'm like Paul. Am I I'm therefore become your enemy? Am I your enemy, sister? Oh. Read. Because oh, I tell yeah. you the truth. Am I your enemy because I tell you the truth? Yeah, you're my enemy. Yeah, I'm your enemy if, because if, I tell if, you the if truth. You're not for God, 
and you're against him. We're out here teaching our people the word of God, you and believe, you're saying you don't believe Jesus is God. He's not. So then the Bible doesn't me. say that. The Bible, he's not you the most. A, I have a gospel angel. Get something on me. to it, sister. And the gospel angel is on me. On me. Let me God show you. Hasn't let sister, me this sister, is there more than one God? Is there more than one God? You're right. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. You see that word? A correction? I receive it from you right now. You know sister, why? Because sister, came yo, don't interact with her, bro. Don't interact Thank with her. You. If she's not going to talk to us, she's not going to talk to anybody. Thank you. Don't interact with her, bro. Read. Psalm chapter 82, verse 6. I've said, ye are gods. The Lord said, we are gods. Do you agree with that? There you go. Thank you for walking away. I appreciate it. All right. Getting back to the word. Get back to the word. You see, get, uh, Proverbs 1 and 22. We got to preach it, right? That's it? Nah. Get Proverbs 1 and 22. You see, when we come out here, man, and get, get that though with the, uh, say, yeah, so, say you come to, uh, I forgot what that is. Uh, no, that's, 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 that's what we said there. Mark 4, 15. Oh, yeah, when, uh, when, when you come to some words. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Read. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 22. Okay. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? So, how long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? How long are you going to love the simple things of the Most High God? Excuse me. How long are you going to love the simple things and not come to the Most High God? How long? Read. And the scorners delight in their scorning. Uh-huh. And fools hate knowledge. And fools hate knowledge. You see, that's the problem with this world. They don't want to hear the truth. They want to hear nothing but a lie. They want to embrace this indoctrination because it feels like it gives them some type of empowerment. You see, what we were dealing with for the past um, about a half hour was a feminist spirit and, and a Jezebel spirit. And that's what's running to and fro on this earth. They don't like to actually hear the words spoken about in this book. She had everything to say, but when it came to suffer not a woman to teach, she would not go on that scripture. She won't argue with that scripture. Bunch of nonsense. And let me show you exactly what just happened. Read that out. That's not it. Read that again. Huh? Do me a favor, read that again. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 22. Uh -huh. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. We are out here simply to preach the gospel of Christ, whether you want to hear it or not. That's what we're out here doing, preaching the gospel. Anybody got a question over there? Nah? You don't want to come hear the word of God? You don't believe in God? All right, God bless. Yeah, read. Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. See, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon us. Go ahead. Because the Lord have anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and to the opening of the prison to them that are bound. You see, the Lord sent us up here to preach to the people who are lost. To preach to the meek of the earth. To preach to the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians that you will be redeemed and you will rule in this world to come if you follow the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. That's right. And if you come back to the faith in Christ. And this is the unadulterated truth, whether you like it, believe it or not. And with that,